close to the speed of light is a kind of elixir of life. Because time slows down close to the speed of light, special relativity provides us with a means of going to the stars. Welcome back, everybody, to day 21 of Llama Escapes. There were no clips made for day 20. There was a little bit of a gap there because I was out of town. Uh, but don't worry, I'm not going to miss a single daily. And I, I just had to take a little bit of a break, take a little bit of a vacation. But that's fine. We're getting back to the grinding. And hey, look, my trapper luck is going away. It's fine. Look, it has to even out sometime, right? You know, you get some of the garbage now. And then when you really need it, boom. You know, two spiders again. And there is a valuable unlock, the enhanced Yaktwee stick. Uh, I think I just have to talk to him to, to actually get the upgrade, uh, which is nice. And yeah, I grinded most of the way, uh, or part of the way through 75 Hunter, but all of, you know, 73 and 74. And got a, you know, a few charms out of it, I guess. Lunar Diplomacy Complete to start... Day 22, there's access to Lunars and Lunar Isle, but most importantly, Lunar Equipment. Another quest done, Olaf's quest for some defense XP. Look, okay, we all know that I'm in it just for the quest points. I just like to see the number go up. And there is a very valuable quest complete, Deadliest Catch done for a ton of different bank deposit boxes unlocked. Another quest down, the Eyes of Glaufrey. And something else I wanted to mention is I have been working on my agility, my cooking, and my wood cutting. So I've gotten agility to my goal of about 860,000 XP. Uh, I've gotten my cooking all the way to 70, which is the requirement to finish Recipe for Disaster. That's the highest cooking requirement uh, for any quest. So that's taken care of. And I have woodcutting to 61, which is just sitting there waiting for me to get my dragon hatchet. Another quest down, Tybe Will when I trio. Time to go, uh, yeah, actually claim the real quest rewards from each of the brothers. Oh, wow, no way. I am incredibly lucky, I'm telling you. 7% favor. Gautuber done. I need to put this away before I eat it by accident. So that's kind of wild but uh second gout tuber um i'm gonna see if this is possible to actually give away to someone i i don't know if it is okay there's a hundred percent favor done wanted to go ahead and knock that out uh yeah for the next quest i'm working on start of day 23 with another quest down my arms big adventure for 10k herblore second quest down for the day making good pace zoger flesh eaters done Another quest done today for 20,000 attack XP and some other various rewards. Rune mechanics done. And there's Watchtower quest complete for four quest points. And uh, yeah, good chunk of magic XP got me to 68. Very important quest done bringing home the bacon. It's, it's, not, it's not very important. I just like bacon. I think that is the first time in my history of playing this game that that has happened, but a crash star just landed right in front of me. I watched the shadow come down and boom, there it was. Uh, yeah, that was a nice little like 5.5k uh, mining XP I picked up just for clicking it once. Another quest done today, contact for a thieving lamp or a thieving uh, XP drop and a lamp which is... Quite nice to go into summoning twice here. So 7,000 plus 7,000. Another quest down today, Dishonor Among Thieves. This is actually something I started like a while back, but finishing it up now. And Combat Lamp doesn't really matter what I put it into at this point. So I guess I'll just go with Attack. Another quest done, a uh, always somewhat frustrating one, Rat Catchers complete. And there's some free quest points again. Pirate's Treasure done for two quest points. And I've been selling a lot of my chinchampas as adults so that I could finally 
unlock this, animals can now breed in medium pins so I can start breeding the two spiders that I have. I'm going to be feeding them with uh, seeds, which is fairly straightforward given that you can purchase so many seeds in Draenor Village, but just thought that was worth mentioning. Hoping to make day 24 another busy day full of questing, so there's Regicide Complete to start the day off. Really burning through quests today, there's Catapult Construction Complete for two construction levels. And that gets me past the total level 1700 milestone too. Nice. And to finish off the Roving Elves quest, I am going to pick the Shield here, uh, because it, it may be useful uh, since I'm planning to, um, you know, maybe take on a roll for some of my first Beastmaster kills, having a T70 shield is a lot more useful than a T70 bow, which you can just replace with a salamander. Anyway, there's the quest done. 10k strength XP, shield acquired. And I know that I'm doing a lot of these quests out of order, but I'm just, I'm just having fun with it. So there's rum deal done for, hey, prayer XP lamp is, yeah, it's the most important of these, but the fishing is nice too. And because you're pretty much obligated to do these quests back to back, there's cabin fever done for smithing. Sure, crafting is okay. Agility, also okay. And then you talk to Bill Teach after to uh, to get 10k. Another piratey quest done. Recipe for disaster, freeing pirate Pete. And there's another quest complete. Swan song for a few quest points, but really just pretty nice XP drops. Another quest done, the hand in the sand. Another quest done, smoking kills to, yeah, get more slayer points for my tasks. Another quest done, elemental workshop four, finally done with this series, and importantly, that's 250 quest points, so I think it's time to go finally claim some dice from May. Something else I'm going to do is reset my unlocks, so I'm going to reset them here, going to unlock everything up to Vanquish here, and because I don't need the Lorehound anymore, that allows me to unlock up to Adventurer in Training, which improves the Meg Weekly, uh, which should be quite useful. Uh, and then, you know, after this, I don't think any of the other stuff is really that important from the Quest Point Shop. However, this does give us two dice to roll. All right, nothing particularly great from this. Some rune plate legs trimmed and a blue dragon hide body. Gold, I guess I guess that's a fortunate component there, but two mil is nice. Managed to squeeze another quest in before daily reset their spirit of summer done. Another quest done, a void dance, and that gets me XP in two of my lowest skills, actually. Summoning and construction. Uh, and yeah, that gets me to... Base 49's fine, okay? One off base 50's. Perhaps my favorite NPC in the game, Mr. Chuck, taking me away from the island. But there is Hunt for Red Racktuber complete. And got a good chunk of XP for that. And there's some like it cold done for a nice chunk of XP, 100,000 overall. And importantly getting me 72 fishing, which is what I need to get access to the good good, the good food, beltfish, also crocodile tears quest unlocked, and I think this means that I can do man in the north right after it as well, I believe I have all the requirements for that, so that's going to really up my Minifos reputation gain. So I've been convinced to attempt my first Beastmaster on the account, this is something I planned on doing Actually, starting later this week, uh, once I got, you know, T75 unlocked, um, got Devotion unlocked so I could do, like, a pet tank roll. That's part of why I also picked up the Crystal Shield. Um, but, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't seem too bad. It sounds like there's only maybe two people that actually have T90s on this. So, it, you know, carried by the T90s, but definitely still taking up a roll. It looks like I'll be doing the North Charger roll. And, uh, yeah, I'm not the only T60 person coming along. There's another T60, there's a few T80s, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, not, not too bad. It's just gonna be a, an overall pretty scuffed kill, as you can tell. You know, I do have the, the lowest HP here, but there's a guy with just 70 HP. So it's not, it's not that bad. Uh, it's not, it's not a total leech sort of thing. Um, let me go get my defense level up, like, you know, one more before... <laughs> Before we actually go into this, because I'm, I'm pretty spooked. Probably, definitely going to die. 
Oh man, totally classic to to <laughs> forget runes when you're going into a raid as mage, man. Uh, yeah, I'm, Blake would be flaming me right now if if he would ever carry my scuffed ass into this. Yeah, okay. Well, at least I made it to the point of grouping up all the chargers, so I accomplished my role of getting all the chargers into the corner. <laughs> but uh, hey, look, I'm not the only person who died. The first person who died died on the first wave of Eretz that came out. So, <laughs> okay, I'm not the I'm not the total dead weight. Oh no, tank number two died. So, <laughs> so it's all up to him. The big base man, 500k left. He's got this, right? What an absolute beast. Kiting it around the arena for like four minutes straight. No problem. But boom, first loot. All right, let's see what happens. Someone just got an Acto. Oh, oh my word. I cannot believe Man, I don't even think I can use the ability yet. <laughs> that that is just that is just disgusting, okay? This is this is just I can't even use it yet. I can't even use it yet. <laughs> I've never seen this before. <laughs> that is just that <laughs> I have no words. So I've been doing some thinking as I'm like, you know, ruminating on this, you know, absolutely insane drop. Uh, it's definitely going to Corruption Blast for magic, and I'm just two level, uh, two magic levels away from that. Um, something I've been considering doing, uh, at least once I finish this Blue Dragons task, I feel like I kind of messed myself over by accepting, you know, the next task from Sheldar a little whenever I got this uh, like a week ago. Um, I think I'm going to do some Slayer Point farming using the low-level Slayer Master uh, located there in Lumbridge. So first thing is getting to 300 Slayer Points, so you get six blocks. That allows you to block six of those tasks, and you can permanently point farm in Lumbridge Catacombs. Um, point farming in Lumbridge, Lumbridge Catacombs is incredibly fast with Corruption Blast. I uh, totally didn't mean to rhyme that. Uh, so... Point farming to get my big unlocks out of the way, get a little bit of Slayer XP, and then, you know, run the highest level Slayer Master I can once I'm 58 Slayer, which shouldn't be too long doing some point farming, uh, doing some real tasks scattered in there. You know, the next 46 quest points will probably end up giving me some Slayer XP as well, and then daily scarabs, uh, you know, all kind of adding up. Uh, then we, we really just try and gun... Uh, you know, using our preferred slot at least for the Black Mask from Cave Horrors. And then it's, I believe the increments are 73 and 77 uh, Slayer, respectively, to unlock the two different Strike Worms to get the other parts of the Slayer Mask. And and then we're really going, you know, once once we're up in that level of Slayer, we're really getting our, our combat stats up there. And uh, yeah, I think that's, I think that's the way I want to get, get grooving and grinding. Also, the first Dagonoth task I run into is really going to pop that Slayer level up because I'm going to be doing Dagonoth Kings for sure to get my hatchet. It's it's one of the steps in my guide to Max, and uh, yeah, it's it's just that important. Alright, there's the first quest of this next series that I'm going to try to burn through, but Eagle's Peak done for two more quest points. Yeah, 44 to go. And what lies below done time to do the hunt for surak immediately following this quest oh and i thought i should note that i have slowed down on doing my daily rune spheres it's something that i was uh, really trying to stay on top of to begin with because it it really helped skyrocket my rune crafting up um but from this point on i think i'm probably safe to just do abyss rune crafting the rest of the way to 99 essentially um not quite sure. Uh, I, I may still end up doing some rune span at some point uh, if it's my only option, essentially. Uh, but I'm comfortable leaving it where it is now, so I'm not going to be, uh, you know, too big on doing rune spheres daily. I don't think they're that important, and I don't think they're that macro efficient either. And I normally would, probably wouldn't do this until later, uh, but I did just get the Dagonai history book from the Varrock Palace Library. 
Uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and turn it in for the kudos you get for it. And um, yeah, claim my lamps from the historian here. Uh, so I believe there's maybe one more lamp that he's going to give me. I'm, I'm not totally sure. I know my kudos is, is kind of skyrocketing here. Yep, it was just three lamps. And currently the plan is just to throw these in herb lore. I don't think it's a ton of XP. Yeah, it just looks like 2,000, 3,000. Not a huge deal, uh, but it is a level, I guess. Is that any unlocks? Uh, luck potion. Okay, no, that that's not really an unlock. But uh, hey, bloodweed. And I guess that's a mini quest complete for 5k Slayer and access to Bork, uh, which I don't think I'll ever do. Uh, but hey, some charms is nice. Yeah, Hunt for Surah complete. Probably the toughest quest boss yet. But anyway, there is the great brain robbery done and we got it done in the end. So use this lamp on, I, I don't actually have it listed. It's just 5,000 XP. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we're just going to go with good old herb lore. Oh, and I just realized that I kind of missed a detail earlier, but I can't yet do the Crocodile Tears quest until I get dealing with Scabaras done, and that requires 60 strength. So a little far off, uh, but we're still making our way there. On to day 25, first quest done, Family Crest unlocked the Smelting Gauntlets, I believe they're called now which are somewhat useful, uh, at least compared to the other two these days. Another quest done, Defender of Varrock, for, yeah, quite a lot of XP uh, across the board. Really, the important stuff is the smithing and, uh, and the defense here. So, there's the last lamp, and, okay, a single level. And there's a pretty big quest complete, Legends quest, for four quest points. Put all of the rewards into herb lore as you should, and there's 58 taken care of uh, with enough bonus XP actually uh, from squishing scarabs, that is, to get me up to level 59 uh, if I did a little bit of training. Another quest done fairly quickly for a good chunk of attack and strength XP. Construction, crafting, mining is, is all very good. And uh, yeah, that's two more levels to the total. Another quest down, and this is a really important one, right? Sheep Herder. For four whole quest points, baby. Let's go. So this person I ran into in the Soul Obelisk uh, friends chat the other day, their name is Max Six Months, and I'm like, that that sounds like exactly what I'm trying to do right now. Uh, so I added them, and I, I asked, and they said, yeah, that's, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to max their account in six months. Uh, they're hardcore. I'm not... Uh, I don't know if they picked it just because they don't really care about the status or if they're actually trying to hold on to it, but either way, um, they just invited me to join ED3. It would be just the two of us, and they said they just want a little bit of help. Um, they said Gothic Staff is fine. It wouldn't really be leeching, uh, and once I have Corruption Blast and, and two more levels, you know, I'll be able to really deal a fair bit of damage, so... Yeah, I'm stocking up on some garbage food and gonna go, uh, you know, power level my magic just a little bit. I at least want to unlock Vanquish, um, and that'll help a lot for the Slayer grind that's upcoming, because T75 is gonna be about my best weapon, so I, I figure I'll go ahead and unlock it. Alright, here's the unlock Corruption Blast. Boom. Acquired. Fantastic. Alright, so we grinded it out for a... About an hour, hour and 20 minutes, maybe? Uh, so that wasn't too bad. Got 76 magic and 67 defense, which is just nuts. I'm pretty sure I started at 68 and 58, respect, respectively? 58? 54, I think. Yeah, I think 54 defense. Anyway, ton of levels. 1751 total now. Uh, and I got just about 2 mil if I end up alking all of this and all of this, plus the outright cash. This is just, this method is nuts. Also, charms, 93 blue charms in an hour and a half is actually not bad. Um, yeah, this is, this is so broken. I love it. Uh, I'm definitely going to be coming back more in the future. I don't know how much grinding I really need to do for my combat stats. I'll say that up front. Slayer is going to give quite a bit of combat XP, uh, but... I'm totally open to to doing more of this to fill in that, you know, extra combat XP uh, that I need to, especially for melee, because melee is always the struggle. Um, yeah, 
this this was awesome. Oh, and just so it's evident, I am now using Vanquish, given that I'm over 75 mage. Yeah, it's it's nice. I thought it was a good time to go ahead and take care of most of Barbarian training. I didn't finish it all up, but there is a requirement for one of the quests I want to do next as a first resort. That is, get four spears. I can't purchase them from the Warrior's Guild just yet, so I needed to make them. That's the Iron Man way, right? The as a first resort quest also needs some raw chompy, so I thought, hey, I'll go ahead and free scratch while I'm here. So quest done. One more quest point and two more levels. There's as a first resort done. Nice. Something important here is that this also unlocks the familiarization D&D &D for me, essentially. It's not something you really want to do before you get the unlimited run energy pool. And now that I have access, well, it's going to be something I start working on so I can get the summoning outfit. Oh, and there's also this really important shop with, uh, yeah, raw beef, raw bird meat packs, and I guess I can buy the rabbit as well for a ton of meat for our player on farms. And these are also for spirit terror bird pouches. Well, that was a lot of successful runs. You can see I did a ton of training. So 76 magic, 70 defense, 65 ranged, 70 attack, 67 strength. I passed the 1800 total level mark too, which is just nuts. I think I've, I think I'm up like 3 million, three and a half million total XP <laughs> since we started this. I've only done it for maybe three or four hours so far. And this is the loot. Now I know what you may be saying, like that's not a ton, but also I was doing the least DPS out of the three people there because uh, we did end up finding a third. So look, I'll take it. Um, you know, the salvage is so much GP. Few prey pots, sure. Few weapon poisons. Um, just a rare relic straight up is nice. Gonna alk that. Uh, yeah, I'm happy. I don't think I'm gonna do too much more of this for the time being, uh, given that I really don't need that many more combat levels um, for, for most quest requirements. Uh, I've got a ton of quests I can burn through and then I want to start working on Slayer. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's definitely worth doing. And I used hardly, like, almost no chins at all. 137 red chins. I started with 150. I got six range levels, the last six range levels for 13 chins. And I'm sitting on a stack of 4,500. This is just, is nuts, Okay. 200 blue charms too. Starting off day 26 with my first shiny animal in player owned farms. That's, that's pretty cool. Well, I thought it was finally time to knock out this blue dragon task. So I just went with the good old split dragon tooth neck and bone crusher and we got it done. And starting the day with another quest down, there's dealing with scaburas, scaburas. It's a weird word. Crocodile Tears complete for a ton of XP, immunity from desert heat, then a relic and, you know, multiplier to reputation gain and Minifos. All very nice, and I guess it's it's just going to show me this, you know, ominous foreboding cutscene instead of showing me all the XP drops. But, uh, yeah, 275 quest points as well, which is a nice little milestone, but I'm still aiming for 300, which I hope to get today. Another very fast quest done in Pyre Need for an absurd amount of XP for how easy that quest is. Uh, two levels, one of them being 60 fire making, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to actually run the D&D &D ones because the first time that you kill the Phoenix, you get 5k Slayer. And that's a, that's a pretty good chunk. And there we are. Phoenix Slayer D&D done for the first time. 5k Slayer taking me over the 58 mark. So there's Cave Horrors unlocked for the Black Mask. Yeah, things are getting interesting. So I think it is a good time to go ahead and push through these RFD subquests. So there's Lumbridge Sage Freed. Another one down between a rock for some mining smithing and defense XP. And a very useless Adamant Pickaxe Plus to get out of here. I realized, hey, I don't exactly need 300 quest points to start doing the Slayer boosting. That's just for the last block. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And then my first real task, task number 20 from Simona. We got it. Cave Horrors. 157. Let's get it.
look, ladies and gentlemen, okay, really just gentlemen, it's just that easy. It's it's just that easy. I don't even remember how long this task was. It was, what, 180 or something like that? 120 kills in. We got it. Black Mask acquired. It. Come on, just, just don't go dry. <laughs> It's so impossible for me to go dry. I must be made of lotion. You know what I mean? Well, I have been hard at work up to task number 70 so far. And there we go. Dagonoth task acquired. So, yeah, it's time to go take down some DKs. Not quite going to finish up 300 quest points tonight, but maybe, just maybe, we'll walk away with the hatchet. And I almost forgot that I had Nimi Forest to do today. I've only missed one so far. Um, and I just managed to hop to the right world, which means that I ended up saving technically yesterday's or today's, depending on your perspective, uh, Nimi Forest run by just 24 seconds. Well, I figure since I have a Dagonoth task and I'm going to do it at DK's, we should get my first Reefer task. Uh, let's see if I can roll. Can I, can I hit exactly what I need, please? <laughs> Mr. Reaper. Uh, no, I don't want group bosses yet. Dagonoth Kings! We got it! There we go. Oh, I got totally baited by that beam, but it's just an elite clue. It's fine. No, no... <laughs> no alarms going off yet. Okay, there's our first real drop. Warrior Ring. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but we're getting started. Had to take a little bit of a break, but finally making some more progress and got a Berserker Ring. So that's that's something, I guess. Uh, not really what I want. Those are the two things I, I don't want, Rex, but thank you anyway. And a Rock Shell Set. I don't know how great that is anymore with the mining and smithing rework, but I thought I'd go ahead and hold on to it just in case it ends up being useful somewhere. Uh, maybe for Slayer, at least. Oh, and something you probably never thought you'd see, but a Berserker Ring, and probably a Warrior Ring, too, are worth more than they are in Old School, which is just nuts. Unfortunately, everybody, I am not going to be able to finish this Dagonoth task in this video. It is going to get done tomorrow, but I plan to end the video here. I am just, I'm dead tired right now. It's like 3 in the morning, I don't feel like staying up another hour, so... This is where we're at, this is the week, but hey, we're over 1830 total, over 22 million overall XP. I don't even know where I was at at the end of the last video, but it's a lot of progress. 279 quest points, and, and we've gotten a lot of different unlocks throughout the week too. We can wield Vanquish, we got our Black Mask, we got a few fancy rings that we probably won't use for a while things are moving up. So everyone, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.